Hi, I picked it up. I want to say big thanks to um, the M Y B R Y Y or something. I think that's right. Forgive me if I messed up your YouTube name. It's the guy with the Ranch King. I also emailed him. And um, I have a guitar player said this was uh, a good deal to get this engine. Now, I uh, paid 45 bucks for it, it was local. It's a uh, 94 Briggs, an industrial commercial engine. It's going on my 99 yard machines. I'll just show you some about it. It's got a little different carb on it. There's a grounding wire on there. And I'll show you something. The mounting bolts on this look a little different than mine, so I'm probably going to go with mine. If I need to use these, I'll use these. Uh, the uh, the black bolts are a little rusted, so it looks like it's be outside. Um, the spark plug looks like the original. It's a little rusted. I got one on the porch. I'm gonna replace it with. And um, yeah, I'll do this soon. It should be a good project. Yeah. Uh, he also gave me the uh, pulley bolt right there. The one that goes on there to hold the pulley on there. Thank God, because I really needed that. I have a pulley bolt. I just do not have the washer and the lock washer with it. I'll try to do this soon, folks. Um, I really have to... Uh, yeah, maybe this is the kill switch. Touch it there, but I'm not sure. But, um, that's about it. I'll put them out this soon on the 99-yard machines when I fill up to it. Um... I shouldn't say this. Yeah, the chain fell off the snapper again. Hopefully the link is still connected and I gotta put it back together. For some reason it doesn't want to wheel back and reverse. So what I'm thinking on the snapper is when I, uh, the mid-70 snapper riding mower I have, is I'll uh, put it and shift it into reverse and pull it in reverse and that should be fine. Well, there you go. I bought it. 45 bucks. Good deal. Uh, God bless you all. Yeah, I know my car needs to be clean, huh? You guys take care. Hi, Bleach PC here, just listening to some country, and I didn't mount this thing on yet. I just sat it there to see how it would go. This is what I'm working on, 99 yard machines, and I just figured out how to remount the hood because the plastic broke off. Yeah, I hope this works. Uh, the old gas hose is pretty bad. Oh, another Spider-Man! There's a lot of them in here. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm so clean in my garage. Uh, yeah, this bag of papers over there I put there because didn't want the engine to leak oil in the car. Um, yeah, this is what I'm working on. I'm under nine yard machines. This is a uh, 94 uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, International. Big thanks, Internet. Uh, whoops. Big uh, thanks, uh, Effa Guitar Player and the Ranch King guy. This is a, I thought this was a good idea. It does have compression. There's no oil in it. Well, there's some. There's some leaked in the car. But, uh, what else? Yes, yeah, fun project, baby. I'm gonna replace the spark plug. I, uh, have one, a brand new one. Uh, I just hope this works out, because I don't... I looked in the parts manual, so I'll put it together correctly, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. Over there is the broke one. Yeah. Oh, what else I wanted to say? Uh, not sure if I should replace this gas hose here. Oh, uh, what the hell is it? It's got a crack in it right there. I don't know if you can see that. If it doesn't leak, I don't know if I should replace it. I'll send this video to the Apple Guitar Player. He's really helpful. and. Now you can help me find a cheap gas hose on eBay or something. Yeah, that's it. it doesn't ha I don't have oil or gas for it now. And holy crap, oil's over four bucks here. And, or uh, no, uh, gas. Yeah, oil's four bucks. I'm gonna put the cheap Walmart brand in here, either a uh, 5W30 or 10W30 or 30 white. Uh, gas is over four dollars here now. I just can't believe it. And uh. Other places at 389. I don't know, this video is pretty weird enough as it is. I just show you new my new stuff. I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Um I don't know when I'll be getting this running. Maybe the weekend or next week. Um 
There was another snapper mower I was looking at. I don't want to say too much about it because it might not happen. And it's 30 miles from here. Um, if I had the money in two weeks, if it's still there, I might get it. I did have the money for it, but this was 45 bucks on uh, Craigslist, and I opted to get this. Yeah, local guy had it. Really cool. Hope it runs good for me. Yeah, you guys take care. Hope you like my video. That's one of my favorite songs on the radio. I listen to all sorts of stuff in between country and. I even listen to Lady Gaga a lot too. You guys take care. Have fun. It looks like freaking summer's already here. It's 80 freaking degrees probably. I'm holy. You guys take care. Bye. All right, I'm back. I just can't. Ooh, spider again. There's Spider-Man. He loves it out here. Uh, I just can't let this thing go. Um, so I had to check to see if there was oil in it. The guy said it had none. And that was like oil to me. Might be chocolate syrup. I don't know. Maybe I should put it on my ice cream I just had with my peanuts. I don't know. I don't think that would taste too good. Well, it's blacker than shit. So, just letting it drip on out. My batteries died in my camera. It was making a pissing noise when it was coming out. Yeah, I like country music. I listen to my shop garage. So, I just want to say I'm not a shop or anything. I just kind of do this as a hobby. I figure other people like to see my stuff too. What I like to do. My main hobbies are uh, the collecting anime and manga stuff, all computers, putting those together, and now this shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I have some funny story to tell you. On the snapper, when it mixed with the gas and the oil, the guy I told it, got it from, told me I should change the the the, the oil immediately. So. Me being oh, who I am, I go to an auto parts place just to double check. And um, I go, can the first guy go, can I, it's where I live. And I said, first guy go, um, yeah, the, the, um, the, the carb, there's gas coming out of the muffler, the carb on my snapper. And I said, does that mean that the, the gas is mixed with the oil inside the current case? He's like, I don't know. And then I asked the other guy, and he says you shouldn't need to mix the gas with the oil because it's not a two-cycle engine. I'm like, okay, goodbye. Then I go down the road to the mechanic I trust for years. He's like, oh, I wouldn't even start that thing. You know, freaking ruin the rings in it. Do not start it. So, I found the oil in the garage in another video I showed you. Yeah, Valvoline. I don't know how good it is. Oil's oil to me. As long as it burns correctly and works, it's fine. But I'm thinking the Walmart oil's going in this because uh, oil's gotten so high. The Super Tech. But I'm so. I, feel, I guess I'll let you guys go. Uh, yeah. This is similar to the '99 I had. Uh, Snapper guy got the stamp from with some of these engines are a lot of craftsmen's too and ones I saw on YouTube have craftsmen written across there. I just hope to God this works and don't break it. Soon I hope to get some gas and some oil. I'm gonna go buy the oil at Walmart and eh, not going to gas where I live. Four freaking dollars, oh no. I'll go to a closer, smaller town and get it a little cheaper. I'm um, thinking the quick fill or Hess or something. Hess, Hess is pretty cheap here. That's good gas. That's what we put in our car a lot. Um, yeah, I like that song too. I think it's She Days or something. Yeah, I got an old radio in here. I think it's from the 70s. It's a really old cord. I got it in a yard sale years ago. It's on my shop radio. I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, see it over there? You can see it. I'll show you what the hell. Yeah, that's my garage radio. Old General Electric. Works awesome. One of the buttons is missing on there for the volume, but I could just turn that with my hands. Then I got Hornet Spray. Yeah, I'll be using that soon, killing those bee things. I'll let you go, guys. That's my garage radio. Plays pretty good. I don't know. Hope I don't get in trouble with YouTube playing music, but this is what I like to listen to. So you guys take care.
Alright, last part of the vid. I kind of liked what the guy did with his ranch king. I can't really pronounce his YouTube name. It's like M-Y-B-R or something. So, I like what he did. It's uh, pour clean oil in there until uh, clean comes out. I'm going to do that too. I think that's a good idea. Because God knows how long that oil has been in there. And it would be good to flush it out with clean oil. Well, that's it. That's a good song, too. Take care, guys. Bye. Alright, guys. I'm going in the house now. I'm done in the garage. But there's a little sludge in that oil. And that oil smells really rank. I don't know if I got a wheat stomach or what. But I feel like I'm going to puke. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to flush it out with clean oil with the Ranch King guy when I get it. And put some pressure in. I don't know how much oil that thing holds, I'll just figure it out, but you guys take care, bye.